My mic is muted. I'm professional. I promise. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Splatoon 3. Um, you're probably wondering what the hell I'm wearing. Um, there's a reason for the things I'm wearing right now. All you need to know is that the reason why I'm also using the Blob Blobber is because if we go in here... Oh, it's the wrong weapon anyway. I'm dumb. I'm mistaken it was the other way around. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> We're going to be playing some tower control. Um, and I want to... Um, just get some extra points and stuff. So, yeah, we're going to be playing some Tower Control. I'm going to actually be trying out... Uh, let's see here. What could I use? I'm a little bit more consistent with. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to let RNG decide this time around. Uh, I think NZAP would be great support. I think I'll just go with NZAP for the sake of support. So, tower control. Uh, I want to try and get my special up a decent amount. Uh, so, anything with special charge up would be good. This could be good. Ooh, this could also be good. Eh. Ooh, actually, this could be really good. I know it's a lot of Ink Saber Main, which is really unnecessary, but... Actually, no, here, right? this hat will do. This hat will do. It's got some other good benefits. As for the shirt, I think I'll go with... This one. I know it's not fully leveled up, but we'll go with this one. I want to work on leveling it up anyway. And then, I think the shoes I'm going to stick with... Because so I have, ooh, yeah, I have these. I think this is a good for now. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing some ranked, or anarchy battles, because I want to. And I also want to have, um, just some extra content to do. Uh, because they get added if you don't follow me on Twitter already, which if you don't follow me on Twitter, understandable the platform is falling apart. Um, I will be trying to find an alt. I'll probably be either downloading Hive or just mainly just utilizing whatever else comes around. Um, but I have a very busy week ahead of me, especially seeing as it is Thanksgiving week. I want to make sure that, um, I have a bunch of videos in order, as well as just in general my job. I'm going to be working, like, at least seven hours a week, or seven hours a day. So, or even, in some cases, on Black Friday, ten hours a day. Um, so I want to make sure I have plenty of videos for you guys. Thankfully, I already have, uh, the video, as we record this, I already have a video going up today. This is Tuesdays. Wednesday will be fine, and I can easily record stuff on Wednesday for Thursday and Friday. And, thankfully, I have a bunch of other content already lined up, so I don't need to worry about stuff until uh, much later in the week. But even then, I do have plenty of time to record stuff. It's just, obviously, if stuff seems a little bit more rushed and or haphazardly uploaded, that is why. I apologize. I need to make money so I can not only pay bills, so I can also make more content for you guys. Um, and I might as well get, say this now, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will be starting a little bit after Christmas time, probably going into, uh, next year. Um, so, there's that. Um, so, yeah, basically, this Scarlet and Violet will start probably till at least next year, or at least around Christmas time. Um, but, yeah, we're hiding into Tower Control on Mako Mart. Interesting setup. We have a roller, a charger, I think I saw. An e-leader, I think. Dynamo. Oh, arrow. Okay. This would be a decent setup. I'm the only person using Men's up, so I'm kind of glad I used it.
Okay, so I like how it intrinsically will go to the middle if no one's on it. That's actually kind of cool. Just want a different spot on tower. Do I like that? Let's toss this right there. I need to get back in there and see if I can try and help out my team a little bit. Oh. Oh, yeah, our Dynamo has... Um... Tactic Cooler, so... I don't feel as bad running it, then. This 52 gal is good. <laughs> It's a weapon. I, I almost, I almost picked it. I almost picked it, and now I wish I did. There we go. There, these guys are good. <laughs> Gaming mother me. God. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for the winter update that's going to be coming out soon. Um, that's just why I've been trying to... I, I want to do a video on it because I, I, it's a topic I do like, want to talk... I do really want to talk about. Um, and it's basically the unhealthy nature that is the battle pass systems that are it seem to be very standard in games nowadays. Because in this game... The, I don't know if the Battle Pass is going to end or not on no November 30th, but you after November 30th, you can't get some of the items in there anymore, and that sucks. Like, Overwatch, same with Overwatch 2. Like, all, all those items that you don't have, they're just gone. Um, I like the way Halo Infinite does it because it means you don't miss out, and I like it. Um, COD is doing the same thing now, where if you don't spend all of your tokens, you immediately just get every all the items. You can't bank them. Because they're like, it lets you earn the tier. It's just, it's a uh, spend how you want kind of thing. Rather than a, uh, you earn the tier and keep going. It's a very much a spend how you want type thing. Um, try to jump to our dynamo here. My God, these guys are good. I hate it, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just not huge on like my lessons because I really want to like I want to finish this one. I want to get to level 100. I want to, um, I want to at least get to tier 69 on Overwatch so I can get the Kitsune stuff, all the Kitsune theme things for like from um, uh, Ryu uh Ki Ryuko wrong ca wrong character uh Kiriko, and shit. Um, I also want to, I mean, again, in theory, I want to hit tier 100 on the, uh, Battle Pass and Overwatch, or tier 80, sorry, so I can get the Mythic Genji skin, because that's a, it, I mean, and I'm not a Genji player, but I do still want it, it's a Mythic, you know what I mean? Um, I definitely think, I know a lot of people will say, oh, they're copying this game, if a game get, is being copied, it means it's for, it's for probably a good reason, you know? But I definitely think uh, more devs should take up the idea that Halo Infinite had that and have them be a FOMO, like a have FOMO protections that basically means you can still earn the items. Um, or either that or just have it be a thing where um, if you buy the battle pass, um, if, you un if you don't complete it, you still get your money's worth out of it. Um... That's what sucks. It's, it's just you have the situation where you miss out on all these items that you couldn't get because of time, you know? So.
yeah, it's it sucks, and I love because I love all these games. I love them, and I but I can't play all these games at once. And it's part of the reason why I stopped playing Overwatch is because I couldn't earn all the event items because I just couldn't. Um, and I really wanted to, so yeah. Um, it really does suck. Like again, I do love some a lot of the games I play. I like part of the reason why I, it's also part of the reason why I stop playing Siege as well. I love Siege. It's it's one of my favorite tactical shooters out there right now. But because they implement a battle pass system that, to be honest, is really hard to level up and not very worth in terms of the rewards other than like the alpha packs. I just stopped playing because I had no interest in it, and it's like they locked all of the operators behind it, and you can't just buy a season pass and unlock all the operators. So it's like, what's the point in playing then? You know what I mean? <coughs> but the main thing I have, the main problem I have is if I go to, I, I, can, I can do it now because unfortunately I have um, uh, started queuing. I'm like, you probably saw it there. I'm like level 60 and it's level 100 in the catalog. So, I really, really hope we get confirmation. I don't know if we've gotten confirmation whether or not it leaves or not. Or if it's... Once it's gone, it's... Once it's kind of done, it's done. Um, or if it, like, refreshes after it, the set date or whatever. But in Splatoon, I definitely want to get... Like, I want to get all the items. I, like, I, I unironically want to get that because it's funny. <laughs> it's funny that it's a thing. Um... And also, just it, like again in Overwatch, I want to get the there's a Kitsune icon, like a Kitsune player icon at level 69. There's a charm at 55 that you get if you're doing the free track for. Um, also, we got lucky we got the first, the next map. Uh, there's a, a level 55. There's if you get when you get the free Kiriko, if you're not if you didn't pay for premium or if you didn't get the found uh, the founders pack um, for just owning Overwatch 1, then you get. A little Kitsune weapon charm, and I want that. It's in my fucking name, you know? This Octorator guy is good, and I hate it. <laughs> Yeah, that's enough about, about me ranting about the battle pass system. I've already, I think, ugh. I think I ranted about it enough now. But you kind of get the idea. It's like I love, I love the system's great. On in theory, is great. It is really good because you get a hundred items for like ten dollars or like whatever. And if you're spending twenty dollars, honestly, I, the only reason why I think you do that is if you're like a content creator, you don't want to waste time. But still, a hundred items. For ten dollars, you're not gonna want all the items, which is the main thing. But still, it's a hundred items for fucking ten bucks, and it's like, yeah, in theory, that's uh, that's basically you're paying a dollar for every single item. But here's the thing, you don't want all the items. <laughs> At least with like um, this one, it's free. You don't need to pay for this one, the Splatoon one. Which, yeah, it makes sense because it's Nintendo, but still, it's like... Okay, get up. What? He's using, oh, he's using the wiper. Oh, we got to disconnect because, of course. Yeah, I, I, I this is more for the background anyway. I usually am playing a lot better, and it seems like my team just is sucking. And yeah, they basically had I think they had a charger there too, so that's why they were able to knock us out so quick because they got to the tower way faster than we did. Um, but yeah, just in general, it's I I love I love these games. I always have I always will I always have I love every game I play. Almost always I do. Um. 
but it, I, I just do not like the battle pass system it doesn't help there are some games that utilize whether or not you bought it in your matchmaking like fortnite does i don't know if they still do but i know they used to back before i stopped playing it's part of the reason why i stopped playing um but yeah if i go here go to the status catalog until 7 11 30 2022 at 7 p.m does this mean it goes away at that point or does that mean this is the only things you can see earn until that point i don't know but it's like I, I want to know if it's worth grinding for and only that on top of that too like it's different with like other games that i play like destiny it, it, you're it, it, Destiny, you can come back and earn all of the 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 level season levels if you just do the weekly challenges and the weekly story and if you know how to grind XP really quickly. Overwatch 2, I definitely noticed that doing competitive and doing the daily challenges, which immediately after I do this, I'm going uh, immediately after I end this uh, commentary, I'm going to go do. But when it comes to Overwatch 2, the Disney Talent just give you 3,000, and you can do that, like, up to 9,000 XP, which is almost a full level. As well as, sorry, playing the game gives you XP, which will basically get you that one level. And then, obviously, playing competitive gives you way more. And, don't get me wrong, do I want to play competitive off-camera? Yes. Am I going to do that because I want to make sure all my competitive stuff is on screen? Also, yeah. But... We run to the interesting debacle of wanting to do ranked with other people. And I don't want to have to only play ranked with other people. So, I'll be honest, the idea of a road to ranked service where I do play with other people, I definitely want to have that be more of a thing. Like, I definitely want to have that be still be a thing. But if I'm, I don't be disappointed if I, if I do videos where I'm just doing it by myself. Because I do want to, obviously, especially now with season one ending and only a I think about now, probably two weeks. I still want to earn at least... I want to get to at least level 69, like I said. And honestly, for that game, I might just spend money on it. Once I get paid, because I do get paid this week, so I might just spend money on it, because screw it. But... It's one of those things where I just really need to... Um... I just really need to... Get... I just need to set my priorities right when it comes to certain games. And it's like, with Overwatch 2, it's annoying because the heroes are usually locked behind the battle, but the new heroes are locked behind the battle pass. I know the next guy, uh, the new tank coming out in uh, Season 2, is locked behind the battle pass. But he's also, if you pay premium, he's at Tier 1. If you don't pay premium, he's at 55, like you, like, he, like Kiriko is now. So I'm probably not going to buy the battle pass in Overwatch 2. Um... If I manage to get to tier 80, then I will buy it. That way, all of the paid items are out of the gate. But if, I'm not going to pay for it on day one. I'm not going to. Just because it's not it's not worth the mental health of forgetting that. I think look, the only battle pass I really want to worry about currently are Splatoon, um, Destiny, technically, and COD. Because those three games I play probably the most out of all of them. And they're the ones I can easily do. Like, obviously, Splatoon requires me to be playing Splatoon. But at least at least with this one, I at least enjoy the game. Overwatch, I love the game, but I get burned down on it so quickly. It's probably the reason why I am only, like, level 20, 30. And I only recently unlocked the Sojourn skin. Because I just don't... I got burned out in the game. As well as, I really only like Overwatch 2 when I'm playing with others. And not many people are playing it right now because the hype kind of, kind of died down from it. And in general, I just want to play it more. But that being said, I sorry this commentary is kind of a more of a rant. I guess this is my ramble video about the battle pass. Um, but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure you would like. If you want to see more from me, subscribe. Click the bell to miss any videos. And uh, yeah, I know I probably could do one more game in the end, but I didn't want to have this video get too long. As well as I am expecting somebody to come into the our house to pick your bathroom so i don't want to be doing a commentary while he's here so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next video to live stream to make have a good day buddy stay safe and uh for the love of god have a safe safe week this week good god it's thanksgiving already what the hell